Many Worlds Interpretation The Many Worlds Interpretation of Quantum Mechanics says that every possible outcome of any event actually happens, but in different branching universes. Rather than the universe picking a single outcome, like a coin flip turning up heads or tails, Many Worlds proposes that all results occur simultaneously, each in its own parallel branch. A key motivation is to avoid the idea of wave function collapse, which suggests that quantum possibilities vanish into one real outcome. Many worlds instead keeps every option alive. For instance, if you decide to move to another city or stay in your hometown, one universe forms where you move, while another forms where you stay put. Eternal Inflation Bubble Universes Eternal inflation expands on the classic Big Bang Theory. Right after our universe began, it likely went through inflation, a super fast expansion. According to physicists like Alan Guth, this inflation might not have stopped everywhere at once. In some regions, inflation ends forming bubble universes, each with its own laws and physical constant. Meanwhile, other regions still inflate and keep producing new bubbles. Imagine foam with countless bubbles. Each bubble is like an entire universe with unique properties. Our observable universe could be just one bubble among many, each too distant or disconnected for us to detect. Because space in those inflating regions expands so quickly, any neighboring bubbles race away faster than light can travel, making it effectively impossible for them to meet. This this theory can help explain why our observable universe looks uniform. Eternal inflation suggests the universe is far larger and more varied than we can see, filled with an endless number of bubble worlds. It's tough to prove directly, but many cosmologists see it as a natural outcome of how inflation might work. Brain Cosmology in some versions of string theory, our three-dimensional universe sits on a brain, short for membrane, floating in a higher dimensional space known as the bulk. Think of our universe as a sheet drifting inside a bigger arena. Other brains might be parallel to ours, each one containing its own universe. One possibility is that a big bang-like event could happen when two brains collide, injecting huge energy that looks, from our perspective, like the start of everything. Alternatively, brains might simply float side by side, never touching, yet each forming a distinct universe with its own matter and forces. Gravity could leak between brains, which might explain why gravity seems so weak compared to other forces. Some of its strength might spill into higher dimensions. If brain cosmology is correct, there could be entire worlds extremely close to us in extra dimensions we can't perceive. Even though we can't step off our brain, other sheets might be just a tiny distance away in a direction we don't know how to move in. Cyclical universe. Instead of having only one beginning, the Big Bang, and one possible end, a cyclical or oscillatory model suggests the universe goes through infinite cycles of birth, expansion, and collapse. In one cycle, everything expands outward from a hot, dense state. Over an extremely long time, the expansion might slow and reverse, leading to a big crunch. When that collapse reaches an extreme point, it could trigger another Big Bang, starting a brand new expansion. Each such cycle can be considered its own universe, but they happen one after after the other in time. Over countless cycles, conditions might vary slightly, meaning each new universe has different details. Although modern data shows our universe is accelerating in its expansion, some theories propose dark energy could change over time, allowing a future collapse. This idea is old, but still appealing to those who like the concept of cosmic rebirth. If you imagine repeated expansions and contractions, you get an endless chain of universes, forming a temporal multiverse rather than a spatial one. Black Hole Cosmology in standard thinking, a black hole is an extreme region where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape beyond the event horizon. Some theoretical physicists suggest that each black hole might spawn a new universe on the other side of that horizon. In effect, matter collapsing in one universe could rebound or bounce into another realm that begins its own Big Bang. If true, our universe might be the offspring of a black hole in a parent universe. Meanwhile, every black hole we see could contain its own base Maybe universe. Over cosmic generations, universes that produce lots of black holes might have more descendants, leading to an idea sometimes called cosmological natural selection. This proposal is speculative, but it's a neat explanation for how universes might reproduce. Rather than black holes being dead ends, they become cosmic cradles of new reality. We can't see inside a black hole's event horizon from our side, so direct evidence is lacking, but it's a creative attempt to merge quantum theory, gravity, and cosmic origin stories. Holographic Multiverse 
The holographic principle suggests that all the information describing a volume of space can be encoded on a boundary with one fewer dimension. In simpler terms, a three-dimensional region might be fully described by data on its two-dimensional surface. If this holds for our entire universe, perhaps our 3D reality is a projection from a 2D boundary, like a hologram. Extending that idea, multiple distinct holographic projections might coexist, each forming a different 3D universe. In that sense, the multiverse arises from various 2D sheets of information, generating multiple 3D realities. Simulation Hypothesis The simulation hypothesis proposes that what we call reality is an advanced computer program, possibly run by beings with immense computing power. If a civilization ever becomes advanced enough to simulate entire universes, they might create many. That means it's statistically more likely we're inside a simulation than in a single original base reality. Each simulation could differ in small or large ways different fundamental constants, alternate physical rules, or unique histories. In other words, a single advanced society could run countless parallel universes. If those simulated civilizations become advanced themselves, they could create further simulations inside their world, leading to a nested or recursive chain of universes. While compelling for philosophical debate, it's hard to test directly. Some scientists propose searching for glitches or irregularities in physics that could hint at an underlying code, but none have been confirmed. Anthropic Multiverse the Anthropic Principle notes that the universe seems fine-tuned for life's existence. Tiny changes in fundamental constants, like the strength of gravity or electromagnetism, could prevent stars, planets, or chemistry from forming. In an anthropic multiverse, many universes exist with varied constants. We simply live in one that supports observers like us, because if it didn't, we wouldn't be here to notice. This viewpoint tries to answer why are the laws of our universe just right for life? Instead of a single, super-special universe, universe. It proposes that a huge, maybe infinite collection of universes exist with random parameters. Those that can't form observers go unnoticed, while the few that do inevitably spawn life that wonders why everything fits so well. M-theory landscape. M-theory unifies various string theories, suggesting up to 11 dimensions exist. In these models, the extra dimensions can be curled up or compactified in countless ways. Each distinct shape leads to different values for fundamental constants and particle types. The total number of possible configurations is huge. Some say around 10 to the 500 power 10 to the 500 power 10 or more. This enormous set of solutions is often called the string landscape. If cosmic inflation or quantum processes allow each solution to occur in different regions, then you get an immense multiverse of universes, each shaped by a different configuration of those extra dimensions. In some corners of science, the anthropic principle merges with this landscape to explain why we see the constants we do. Out of the vast menu of possible universes, ours is just one that permits observers. Critics dislike that it's almost impossible to Test. Supporters say it's a natural outcome of string theory and a reasonable way to handle the apparent fine-tuning we see around us. The Mathematical Universe Physicist Max Tegmark proposed that reality isn't merely described by mathematics. It is mathematics at its core. Every consistent mathematical structure corresponds to a real universe. In that sense, all possible mathematical systems exist somewhere, forming the ultimate multiverse. We happen to inhabit one particular set of equations that allows consciousness beings. Maybe there are infinite other sets, each supporting its own bizarre universe with different versions of physics or geometry. If a mathematical system is logically sound, Tegmark argues, it exists in the same way our universe does. Mirror universe theory. In certain physics discussions, a mirror universe is one where each particle in our standard model has a corresponding mirror partner. This doesn't mean everything is literally reversed left to right. It might mean there's a hidden set of particles and forces that almost never interact with our normal matter. If this mirror sector exists, it could contain mirror atoms, mirror stars, or even mirror life. We wouldn't see it directly because mirror particles wouldn't glow or reflect light in our electromagnetic spectrum. They might only show up through gravity or other very weak interactions. In pop culture, mirror universes often involve a fun reversal. The kind hero in one universe becomes evil in another, or societies have opposite morals. But actual mirror matter theories focus more on explaining odd observations in particle physics or cosmic phenomena like dark matter. If proven, it would be a massive revelation, a hidden copy of the world, overlapping our space yet invisible, forming a truly parallel reality. 